When it comes to our children, most of us would agree we would do everything possible to keep them safe. And when temperatures rise outside, it's important parents and caregivers realize the dangers that come with the heat. Hyperthermia is the body's reaction to a very high core temperature. There's different ranges of hyperthermia. We worry when children's temperature is over 41 degrees centigrade or about 102 degrees Fahrenheit. A temperature that's easily reached if a child is left in a hot car. When children get um, so hot that they're not able to regulate their body temperature anymore, um, the proteins in their body will actually begin to break down and they can get um, diffuse organ damage, um, even brain damage. Life-altering effects that take only minutes to develop. Just how quickly can a car heat up? We kept these s'mores in the back seat for 30 minutes. Since then, the temperature inside reads 20 degrees hotter than outside and the s'mores are cooked to perfection. By putting a thermometer in a hot car on a hot summer day, that within a matter of 10 to 15 minutes, the temperatures can definitely exceed um, 110, 115 degrees. Children are much more vulnerable to the effects of heat for any number of reasons. Number one is they're not as in tune with their physiology as adults are, so they don't know to sit down and stop and, and get hydrated. Number two, they're really dependent upon their caregiver, so it's up to the caregiver to get them out of that warm environment. And number three, they become dehydrated much quickly, much more quickly uh, than adults can. Yeah, it depends on who picks it up. And for the Costellos, keeping kids out of hot cars is a cause that hits all too close to home. A coworker that was going between buildings um, came into my office and, and you know, and basically screaming at me said that, that my son was sitting in the car. Because of a change in routine, Todd drove straight to work, forgetting to drop Tyler off at daycare, left him in the car, and hours later, Todd found himself surrounded by his wife and family in the emergency room. They just, they took us into our room and basically kind of ran through the scenario of what Todd had told them happened that day or, you know, starting in the morning and, um, you know, said that they had taken all, every life-saving measure they could, um, but Tyler hadn't made it. Your mind gets distracted, you start doing other things, and then you fall straight into your habit rather than making the, the change and doing what you're supposed to do that day. Now Melody and Todd tell their story in hopes others learn how priceless one accident or forgetful act can be. While I get that people will say, you know, it'll never happen to me, that's fine, I'll support that. But if you can change a, a habit or introduce a safety measure that'll make sure that that statement remains true and accurate, then let's go for it. Well, you can put a physical reminder. You can actually even put an alarm reminder. If you're, if you're a bit uh, forgetful or absent-minded, you set your cell phone or uh, uh, to, to send, give you a little message and just a uh, reminder of where you're supposed to be going. Added to that, never assume your child is safe in a car on a hot day, whether you anticipate being gone for two minutes or 20. We see tragic cases each year where people say, I'm just going to the store for a minute or I just thought I'd be right back. There is zero amount of time that a child should be alone in a car. Definitely take the time, take them out of the car. It's not worth the time you save to put your child's health at risk. Be on your guard at all times. Don't ever have that thought that it cannot happen to you because it certainly can.